Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and I'd like to teach you how to avoid the amniotic and umbilical cord stem cell scams with a little mnemonic called FAD. If you're a physician or patient, you must have seen white papers produced by amniotic or umbilical cord tissue vendors claiming millions of live stem cells per vial. Now, as a physician who's been involved in basic science behind orthopedic stem cell therapies really for almost a decade and a half now, I can tell you that every one has more holes than Swiss cheese and doesn't support the conclusion that the product has millions of live stem cells. You too can gain this same knowledge in a few minutes by reviewing the FACT guidelines and a little mnemonic. FACT is the foundation for the accreditation of cellular therapy. There are well-established guidelines promulgated by this lab research accrediting nonprofit to ID mesenchymal stem cells in a sample. In order to show that you have live and functional stem cells, you have to have flow cytometry data, plastic adherence and culture, and differentiation. And for flow cytometry, you have to show that the cells have a specific subset of markers, both present and absent, on their surface. You also have to demonstrate plastic adherence and colony formation in culture. And then you have to show that the cells can differentiate in culture into cartilage, bone, and fat. Now first, notice what's not part of the FACT guidelines, simple live dead stain viability tests. Now despite this, viability is the most common metric thrown around in these white papers, but it's not even part of these guidelines. The mnemonic to remember is FAD, flow, adhere, differentiate. So let's first look at flow cytometry. You have to have all specific cell surface markers either present or absent in specific subsets to confirm a single mesenchymal stem cell. Flow cytometry works by passing cells one by one past a laser light source and fluorescence and so you see the ones present that need to be there. You see the ones absent that need to not be there. All of those have to be tested for. And every amniotic or umbilical cord company white paper that I've seen doesn't test this full panel of cell markers. Hence, there's no way to identify a single mesenchymal stem cell in the sample, let alone millions of stem cells. Plastic adherence. Mesenchymal stem cells like to adhere to plastic, whereas other cells in the, in the big cell mix don't. Hence, a key part of the FACT guidelines is throwing cells in culture for a week or so to see if they form colonies. So what does a real mesenchymal stem cell colony look like? Well, on the top there, I have uh, CFUs, and those are colony forming units. You see there the, the kind of dots, uh, the circles. And a portion of one of those circles is blown up right here. And you can see the dense number of cells. In fact, it's hard to even differentiate individual cells. And then on the bottom is what a cord, umbilical cord company thought was a CFU or claims is a CFU. And you can see a huge difference there. There's no comparison between those two. This one is tens of cells and this one is thousands of cells. Trilineage differentiate. So real MSCs can differentiate into many cell types and culture. Osteoblasts, adipocytes, chondrocytes. Hence, you need to perform a test that will show that you can stain for the presence of bone, cartilage, and fat in order to be able to say that you've got stem cells. And I have yet to see a single company white paper include this. So the next time you talk with a sales rep or a doctor claiming to sell you live stem cells, remember the mnemonic FAD, flow, adhere, differentiate. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.